there is a fine line, in our opinion, between, uh, between having enough information and having too much. Um, we have seen it where you've given them so much information that they really don't feel the need to actually come in and see your home. And, and that's a mistake. So it's, it's a fine line. We want to make sure that we give them enough to entice them, but not so much that they feel like, I've seen everything I'm going to see on this house. Uh, and perhaps this isn't a, a fit for me, or it looks just like the other builder that's in the neighborhood. I'm not so sure. This one's a little bit better priced. Maybe that's what I want. But um, really, there's very few people who are going to purchase a home online. So the goal is to drive your traffic to the website, and the, dra the website drives the traffic into your models and actually your communities or your homes so that they see them in person. So the, uh, the story here is information overload. Um, we actually worked with a client they had done so much that we picked up the website from a, a, a previous developer that had worked on it they had every bell and whistle you could have on the website they had 3d tours they had interactive floor plans they had videos of everything and we did a small focus group and we found that some of the people who had come uh, who had addressed it or made calls or filled out email forms but never came in said well I really didn't feel like I had a need to come in but that's a, a loss because you can't sell the home on, on the website. If they walk through your home, they see the true details in the crown molding, the cabinetry you use, the floor finishes. That's really the, the difference in uh, your home and another home builder that may be in the neighborhood that doesn't use those same level of uh, finish. So number four is functionality. Are your homes built and uh, are, are built to last, and are they built on the proper platform? And uh, do they also meet the expectations of quality that your consumers are looking for. Today, your website, uh, Google really mandated this a few years ago, but mobile compliance. So your website has to work as well on a desktop as it does on a mobile device, be it a smartphone or an iPad or a tablet. Um, and that's critical. We talked about speed a little bit earlier, and that's really important that the, the site is as fast as it can be for the mobile devices. And then also, um, when I was talking about templates earlier, there's some other issues with templates, and one is security. And the security is an issue because the templates may have flaws in them from a coding standpoint, which might cause issues with a hacker being able to get in um, if they're not a really great uh, quality coded template. There's a lot of templates out there. Um, there's some that are extremely popular. So if you choose a template that's extremely popular because your developer knows how to use that, they may say, you know what, this is great. I'm going to use this template, and maybe 100 other builders across the country are using that same template or even more. So you want your, your site to be un as unique as your homes. So try and avoid, if you can, using templates. Um, and then the other thing about security is when you're doing your website, uh, if you look up in the URL, it'll say HTTP or HTTPS at the top. The S means secure, and that's done through an SSL or a security um, socket layer. Most hosting companies offer it. Uh, some charge for it and some don't. Uh, Google has actually not mandated it yet, but they will put priority on a site which has HTTPS security over a site that doesn't from an SEO ranking. So it's beneficial definitely to do that. Um, also, reliability. How long does your site stay online? Um, a bad hosting company is the primary source of your problems. Um, they are the front line for your security. If, if their hosting platform is not highly secure, they can be you know, open to hacking. So make sure that you choose a, a very high quality uh, hosting firm. And also the, um, the site, your, your site itself, again, using templates can have potential issues. So be, be aware of that. And then, you know, although as a developer, you have, uh, our goal is to make sure that every page on a site works. When we launch it, we guarantee that everything is functional. But things break over time. It just happens. Code, there could be a malfunction on the server for some reason. Code can break. Uh, so you end up with a 404 error where you try to load a page and you can't get to it. Or there's a visual that's supposed to be on the page and it's a small x. Um, I think it's incumbent upon the clients to, you know, once in a while have a team member go through the site to make sure there's not issues as well. Because, you know, as a developer, you may have 100 different sites going. And so it's, it's good if you check in as well.